Hi, my name is Bruno, I have 24 years old and I'm an architect. I am from Portugal, but now I'm living in Indonesia in a city called Jogjakarta. Uh, three million people live here. Uh, I'm here for three months now. I was looking online for internships or jobs in other countries because in my country the situation is very, very difficult right now. Uh, I submitted my curriculum online uh, and everything happened very fast. Uh, an opportunity arose in Indonesia and I had to make an immediate uh, decision whether I wanted to accept this proposal. Um, if not, the opportunity would uh, expire. Uh, I said yes without thinking twice. Indonesia is a country of contrast. You have wonderful cities, wonderful beaches, wonderful nature. Uh, in another way, you have exactly the opposite. Poverty, chaos on the streets with traffic and people grabbing you and asking you for money. I'm not gonna lie, I, it was a shocking experience when I arrived here uh, in the beginning uh, and for an architect it is confusing because uh, there are no rules uh, everyone builds whatever they want where they want uh, my visa is a working visa it was very easy to obtain it because uh, this company for which I'm working uh, sent me my acceptance letter and I went to the embassy of Indonesia in Portugal and they gave me the, the visa in two days. Um, I don't have an healthcare that can help me outside of Europe. So I am always afraid to get sick and I don't put myself in situations that can end wrong because, uh, because of that, because I don't have an healthcare. Uh, it's a risk every day. I was super afraid in the beginning. Uh, I was thinking uh, in Portugal that Indonesia is a country full of crime in the streets and the food would be awful and it's not true. Uh, you have to be careful just like anywhere else. But um, till now nothing happened wrong with me and there are good restaurants for good prices too. Uh, on the other end, I was thinking to go to the, um, to the beach or go for a walk, uh, but there are no sidewalks even. Uh, the life here surrounds itself around motorcycles and the occasional cars. And the distance between places is very significant too. I never met a Portuguese in Indonesia. Uh, there are lots of Polish people living here, uh, for, if we are talking about uh, European but I never met a Portuguese. I'm literally in the other side of the world. It's impossible to feel home at here, uh, not because people are not friendly, but because people stop and stare in the streets just because you're a foreigner. Um, and sometimes they want to take pictures with you too, and they grab and they talk to you, and there's like millions of people in the streets. It's a, a chaos. So, um, after three months, it's still weird for me. I am very focused on my own project right now, uh, which is getting a doctorate scholarship uh, in my country because I need a doctoral degree to teach uh, in the architecture school, and that's what I want to do for my future. Doctoral degree is super expensive, and I can't afford it. Uh, so I hope this experience uh, in Indonesia uh, will help me to get this scholarship. Um, but I would like to have uh, my own architecture company uh, with my friends, for example in Brazil, uh, which is a country constantly growing and expanding, and, and they speak Portuguese too. <laughs> so of course I want to come back to my country again. I think my country is one of the most beautiful countries in the world and it hurts that we are being governed by so many bad political leaders for such a long time. We have good weather, beautiful cities, beautiful beaches, we have nature, Portuguese are nice people and warm and of course we have good food. Uh, 
it's really sad that uh, young people like me uh, are born in a, such a beautiful country, have to emigrate uh, far from the people and things they love because of years and years of bad government. Uh, I really miss my country. Portugal is in a huge economic crisis right now. Uh, almost every day the government raises the taxes to be able to pay the loan they asked to the European Union. Uh, people of my age uh, need to find the first job outside of my country. Um, right now it's the, the only way because uh, if you try to find a job in my country it, you will work basically for free like uh, first world slavery. Um, search everywhere, submit your curriculum, curriculum everywhere uh, and maybe one day with more work experience we can come back to our country and work there. Uh, if it went wrong, it's life experience though. I'm projecting a, an auto right now and at the same time I'm thinking in the people I love. Uh, I don't have anyone here. I do have a relationship back home and I do miss my mom too. Uh, and when I wake up, they are ready to sleep and vice versa. Uh, because it's six hours of difference, um, it's hard. I hope in the end it compensates because right now I feel every day that my heart is smallest.